A-L-A-R-C-A. -A. I'm a national organizer with the Coalition to Defend Affirmative Action, Integration and Immigrant Rights, and Fight for Equality by Any Means Necessary, BAM. Um, I am here with our attorney, Monica Smith, and a number of UC Berkeley students who have joined our lawsuit because we are here to make clear that we intend to file a civil case against the university, against Chancellor Robert Bergeno, and also against the police for their brutality and their infraction of our civil rights at the November 9 demonstration at Occupy Cal, right here on this campus, just a few feet away from where we're standing right now. Students stood proud and bravely last Wednesday as part of the Occupy Cal movement, joining the national movement to stand up for democracy with a focus on defending the right to public education. Because what we're seeing here at Berkeley and across the nation is a new civil rights movement that's committed to defending the right to public education for all Californians and for all Americans for that matter. And with that fight, we are proud to stand for integration and for the need to take on racism and the, and the discriminatory admissions policies of this university so that we can increase black and Latino and Native American and underrepresented minority student enrollment. We stood proud in the tradition of free speech and student activism, where young people are taking the lead and are at the forefront of standing and fighting for democracy, because it's really going to be the youth-led movement that's going to transform this society into the kind of society that it needs to be because we are in a sick world right now and this nation is going in the wrong direction. But it's young people and young leaders like the people I'm standing with today and the people that we all stood together last Wednesday who have the power and who intend to transform it. But what we received for taking that stand and for taking the, making the proud fight for democracy and public education was brutality by the administration through the police. And there were a number of police forces that were out there that day, UCPD, Oakland Police, Alameda County Sheriffs. We intend to sue all of them because the treatment that we received for taking a stand in a peaceful protest where students stood together in the tradition of Martin Luther King and said, enough's enough, and we're going to stop this and make this change, what we received were blows, were bruises, were cracked ribs, were injuries were beat, being beaten in the head, in the stomach, in the ribs. And we are all very, very lucky that the injuries that we sustained weren't worse. But they should never, ever have happened. And we will not stand for brutality against student protesters or any protesters who are fighting part of the Occupy movement or who are fighting for the right to public education and integration. We're calling for the resignation of Robert Bergeno. And we're calling for the end and for him to get rid of his chief of police while he's at it. But we're not stopping there. We are proud to stand in the tradition of the right to protest and assert our free speech rights. And we're calling on students to continue to fight for education, for integration and equality, and to make sure that California and that California universities are truly public and do not become privatized institutions that are deformed and warped in the interest of profits or profit margins. We're calling on students to continue to stand and to know that we have your back. This movement is standing on our moral and our legal rights to fight for education and to fight to make America what it should be. We are intending and urging everyone to strike tomorrow, and you'll hear more from other strike organizers from Occupy Cal on what we're fighting around and what we intend to do, but already our movement is gaining strength. And instead of scaring us, instead of brutalizing or cowing us into staying at home, staying in our dorm rooms, being afraid to take a stand, the brutality that we faced only made us more determined to stand up and fight. And I could not be prouder of the actions of Cal students and the protesters who stood together on Wednesday. Because one student saw the videotape of what was done to us over on that grass for simply asserting our free speech rights for public education and for integration. Instead of 
making students afraid to stand up, it backfired. And more students came out, more students took a stand, more community members joined us, so that by the end of the night, we had thousands of people out here who came out specifically in our defense and in solidarity. And that is the